there was a myth in Jerusalem about a pool that was found in a place which is called Bethesda. People of all kinds of sickness gathered around the pool. They were waiting for a certain event which happens in a certain season. That this pool in Bethesda will have a stirring, will have its movement. They believed that whosoever is the first who gets inside the pool when the water is stirring will recover from whatever sickness they have. Whether it's blind, lame, paralyzed, any sickness can be healed. So many people gathered around the pool. There was a man that had been lame for 38 years. He was also waiting by the pool. But each and every time he sees the stirring of the water, as he crawls near to it, just one more step and he gets into it, somebody gets ahead of him. Many stirrings, many attempts, and many failures. When Jesus saw him one day, Jesus knew that these men had been lying there at the place for a very long time. So Jesus went to him and Jesus asked him, Will thou be made whole? The man answered Jesus, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another step down before me. The man had, has been crippled state for a long, long time. It has become natural for him to be sitting on his mat. He was accepting the fact that he could no longer walk again. While he sees people around him running, walking, or even just standing, he may have thought that those were just not meant for him. Friends, are we also the same? Have we gotten used to the weakness we have in our lives and say we can no longer break free from it? We see others having something we always wanted. Maybe it's a happy home. Maybe it's a stable job. Maybe it's to be free from debt. Maybe to break free from certain addictions that we have been stuck so long. Or maybe some self-improvements to achieve our New Year resolutions, which we have set year by year, but failed at every time when we set it. We have tried and failed, tried and failed again. When we look at others sharing the stories of success, we see them running, walking, standing. And we have come to believe that maybe that kind of life was just not meant for us. We are meant to be crippled, to sit down for the rest of our life. We have no chance to be free from what we desire to be free from. Do we desire to break free? Because the blesser has come. He has come and he is asking, will thou be made whole? Will you want to be standing up, to start walking and to start running? Is that your desire? The blesser is asking, do you want to be free from your chains? If that is your desire, he is offering you and you can be made whole. You can have a happy home. You can have a stable job. You can be debt free. Any addictions that chains you in the past will chain you no more. Your new year resolutions will never be the same again. Because each year, you'll be achieving what you have set. Now all you have got to do is to answer that call.
the blesser is asking, do you want to be made whole? And if you have that desire, if that is your desire, He will ask you to rise, pick up your bed and walk. So friends, rise, pick up your bed and walk. The bed will no longer carry you. It has carried you for a long, long time. Where the bed once carried you, will carry you no more. And you will carry it. The weakness you have in your life that once controlled you, will control you no more. Because you will control it. Your legs will no longer be lame. For you will rise and you will walk. So rise, pick up the bed and walk. The blesser is asking, will thou be made whole?